what is going on guys so sorry I don't think I got video of where I left off um, I am in Texas still um, going to see Oliver Tree later I went to Bucky's for those of you that don't know Bucky's Bucky's is a super big like super very well branded gas station and it's like I don't know explain it they have a lot of stuff inside they sell a lot of cool stuff from there, food, desserts, um, gift items, stuff like that. Um, so, really enjoyed that. Um, I'm actually going back there in just a little bit to get gas. And then, I guess, drive to Dallas. So, I'm going to flip to my phone camera here in just a bit. I'm going to try to merge this all together. I won't have video of the show, obviously. But, I will let you guys know how it is. So... Stay tuned for that. What is going on, guys? I am back. Um, wow. Okay, I am on my Sony camera now, and it feels much better. Um, I just took a shower, washed my face. I'm all good. I'm super happy. I have my Oliver Tree shirt on that I got last night. Super excited about that, by the way. The show was so good. They had um, 347 Aiden. Really cool, by the way. Um, Swaco, also really cool. I actually have not heard a lot of his new album. And, um, like, I just, it was good. He, he sort of transitioned into, um, like a more, I guess, rock and roll type. It, it was cool. It was good music, honestly, though, of music. And I'm trying to find my shoes, dog. I need to make food and throw my clothes into the washer. Where did I put my shoes? I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Um, well, darn. I've got two pairs of shoes. And I, okay, low-key, I bought a few things down here that... Did I need to buy it? No, not really. Did I buy it anyways? Yes, of course I did. Including this Oliver Tree shirt. Um, which I do really love, by the way. I, I wasn't going to, but I was like, when am I going to get to buy another Oliver Tree shirt? Sure, I could buy one online or something, but... <sighs> was right there. $35. I was like, oh, whatever. So, I also got some stuff from Bucky's. I think I mentioned that earlier. For those of you guys that don't know what Bucky's is, it's a huge gas station. I'll actually get a video of it later. Hold up. Let's see if I can go over here. Where did I set my shoes, dog? I don't remember. I don't remember where I set my shoes. Wait. That's my stuff. Okay, I don't know. I set it downstairs. Maybe they're... I have two pairs of shoes. I'm looking for my white Adidas. My white and black Adidas. Are they under my clothes? Maybe. <sighs> okay. They're here somewhere. I also got, ooh, some shirts from Bucky's. So weird to keep forgetting no one's here. <laughs> Where did I set my shoes? I need to put my camera up here. Sorry. I'm not used to that. What did I do with my shoes? I don't remember. I generally don't remember. Oh, also, I do not want to go back to Oklahoma. Oklahoma is miserable. Do not move to Oklahoma. Um, it's actually very affordable, ironically, because there's not a lot to do there. Now, contrary, it's not like the outskirts of Oklahoma, where it's like farmland. Like, there's, there, there's cities in Oklahoma, obviously. You have Oklahoma City, Tulsa. Um, stuff like that. It's not super crazy though. Oklahoma City is kind of cool if you've never been. Tulsa has the gathering place, but it's kind of it. It's boring after you live there for a while. What is over here? I'm looking out the window. I can't see. I keep wondering if someone's still here. I'm just trying to find my shoes. I need to make my protein. I can't find my shoes, dog. That's all I want to do. I don't remember if I said this already. I found my... <laughs> my hair looks so weird. It looks like I had a unibrow. I don't like that. I need to get a haircut. Should I get a haircut? Yes or no? Um... Found my shoes. Um... I brought my blender. I brought my entire blender. With my protein. Oh, oh there's my protein. Okay. I think I'm about to go to Bucky's or something. Okay. Or In N Out Burger. Should I go to In N Out Burger? Because I have not been there. 
Let's see if I can fix this. Hold on. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make this protein. Mm, can can we do it? Yes, we can. Maybe. Maybe we can do it. I don't know. My protein. I like my protein. There we go. I'll do a few scoops here. I'm probably. I might cut this out of the video. No, I'm just me scooping protein. Three. Was that three or four? I think that was three. I'll do four. Do f oh, I didn't put the milk first. Uh oh. That's okay. Something I started doing. Low key the other day. I tried using crunchy peanut butter, and it was actually pretty good in my protein stuff. So, I might do that again. I need milk. We have Tampico. I love Tampico. I don't know why. I haven't had it in a while. Can I actually set this right here? Hold up. That would be great. Because... Uh, I don't know if I can. No, that may not happen. I'm currently trying to set my camera somewhere that I don't know if I should try to set it or not. It's on my protein, and it could go... Phew, and just fall off any minute. But I'm watching it very closely. Very closely. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Oh, beautiful. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. I usually always throw some stuff in my like um, peanut butter, banana, oatmeal in my protein because I'm bulking still. Um, but I don't have a lot of that here, which is fine. I'm just throwing a little bit of peanut butter in there. I'm excited. I've never been this excited over peanut butter. Where did I set that peanut butter at, actually? Not this one. It's over here. Dude, yesterday, oh my god, okay, I have a story for you guys. Okay, so yesterday, when I was in line, it was really funny because we were almost up to the door, me and my friend, right? And this guy, this is so funny, I don't know, I guess he left the line or something and one of his friends was staying, I don't know. Two, these two guys, probably, probably about my age, probably about 20s, early 20s, late teens, I don't know, left. Um came back and people were like oh it's nacho guy and he came because he came back with nachos and it was so funny he got out of line to go, like, go get food and i guess one of his friends saved his spot or something and he had a burrito and then i ran into him in line and like he had to go inside and, you know they don't allow like outside food so he, he looked at me literally looked over and was like do you want this burrito i was like sure so i just started eating the burrito in line i was like Gah. i ate like a quarter of it maybe half of it i wish i could have eaten it all but it was okay good but um just like a bean and cheese Burrito, but I had fun. It was cool. I never saw that guy again. If you ever see this video, thank you so much for the burrito, dude. I ate as much as I could of that in the given time. Because he got in, and then like a couple, two, three minutes later, I had to go inside, so I had to throw it out. And I was like, the burrito, the burrito, the burrito, the burrito, the burrito. <laughs> okay, so I want to need it. If you ever see this video, I have so much social anxiety in real life. Like this is probably why I like doing like social media stuff. And like what I do because like I'm learning real estate stuff right now and it's like it's a lot but I need more people around me so like if you guys want to be friends follow me on all my socials at Jagger Reznikov J-A-G-G-E-R-R-E-Z-N-I-K-O-V as in Valentine's I was born two days after Valentine's Day fun fact because I was two days late but it's a very memorable day in history that will go down in the history books so throw this napkin out now. My hair. I didn't bring my brush. I almost, look at my hair. So that's what I was saying. I didn't bring my brush. I almost brought my brush or my comb, whatever. Um, but I didn't. Anyways, I'm going to blend this real quick. So give me one second because you probably don't want to listen to this. Riding around this carousel. I don't know, Oliver Tree. His show was so good. Like, I liked it. I was a little tired by the time it was over, but that was a given. But it was so worth it. Like I said, we saw 347 Aiden and Swaco before it went on, and that was so fun. I had so much fun. I'm honestly not ready to go back to Oklahoma. I don't know if I'm going to go back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. This is Friday now at the time of this recording. Um, I also know where I want my hair to go. Oh, well, I don't know. Good enough. Um, or if I want to go Sunday. I was supposed to make plans with someone, I think, but made a lot of plans while I was down here. 
Oh, I need a cup. I need a cup. Catch me drinking from the chalice of the gods. I have big cups, I have small cups. I need big cups, so I'm just gonna drink out of this and measure it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm still drinking this protein. <laughs> I think I've drank about a cup. I was gonna go to In N Out Burger or Bucky's again. I don't know which one. Right now, I have a couple hours here by myself, so I'm just chilling. I need to do a couple things before I leave. I just charged my camera battery, so I've got 80%. I've used a little bit of it, but it's not a big deal. So, I don't know. I don't know. But it'll be fun either way. Minimize to maximize. And that's been the best thing because you only do like two or three things. Focus on two, maybe three things in a day. And you'll get way better instead of trying to juggle like seven different things like I do because I'm a dummy sometimes. It's okay. But, mm, yep, back to the chalice. You know what I'm sad about? That kvass that I, I showed you guys, I made. I don't feel like I added enough baking yeast because it wasn't fermented enough or I didn't let it sit long enough, maybe, I don't know. It's like a little watered down, like, comparably. But it's still good. It's not, like, repulsive. It's just, like, I needed a little more baking yeast. I think I put too much water in there. You mix it with water, but... Okay, so I'm back. I'm honestly really full. I had a lot of food. Um, just overall today, I had my protein after my workout. Um, can't think what else. I can't think. I just had In-N-Out Burger, like I said. That stuff was good. That stuff was really good. I love In-N-Out. It's probably not as great if you live here or somewhere where there is one all the time, but I don't have one where I live, so it's nice to get it every now and then. But... Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I might try to do one more vlog. I have a few vlogs I'm going to try to get out right now, actually. But I love this shirt. This little tie-dye Bucky shirt. So cool. So cool. I also bought a cooler from Bucky's that I don't know if I'm going to use. Honestly, it looks like a bag. I could low-key use it as like a bag, but it's also a cooler, so, you know, whatever. Anyways, thank you guys, and... This is Texas. <laughs>